Okay, so when we're talking about expanding a tonic area, what we're talking about is kind of, there's kind of two levels of analysis that happen. And one of them is where we label each chord, right? Like what we did here. Another layer of analysis that we sometimes do, and sometimes we call it contextual analysis, uh, is just to kind of look at broader picture, uh, what's happening. And in that you can say, okay, this whole thing is tonic area. Um, and we would say this whole thing is dominant area in this case. This is sometimes called Shankerian analysis. Shanker uh, is a little different than this. It's, a, it's, it's much more detailed than that. That was like a crazy small way to summarize what Shankerian analysis is. If you wanna get into Shankerian analysis, Google it. Um, there's all kinds of crazy symbols they use in Shankerian analysis, and frankly, I kinda hate it. Um, but a lot of people really love it. So uh, we're not gonna talk about Shankerian analysis. But I do want to talk about when we're working in a tonic area, how can we establish tonic and make it feel like it's kind of this general tonic area? There's a couple different ways. First of all, use tonic a lot, right? That makes sense. Uh, use tonic and inversions of tonic. Use use one, use one six, use one six four. Stepping through uh, one to one six to one six four can be an effective thing. Um, like all three of those chords in a row. Uh, it doesn't have to be just that, but that's one way you can do it. Use chords that don't have strong tendencies. Uh, so chords like one, six, two, and sometimes four um, are good for establishing a tonic area. All those chords can work well. Um, and even five, now you might think that sounds nuts because how don't we need five to establish um, the dominant area? And we do, we'll need that to establish the dominant area for sure. But five can work to establish the tonic area. If it's just in passing five one, you know, like one five one, that can be totally fine to establish a tonic area. In fact, that five can really help establish the tonic area by pulling us back to one fairly quickly. As long as we don't dwell on five too much, you just want to avoid any strong pull to, to dominant and then stay in dominant without going back to one. Um, we'll look at more examples of how that works in practice shortly. Um, but let's jump to a new video and let's talk about dominant next.